Some quick breaking news here as CZ from Binance, the CEO of Binance, has just stepped down. We discussed this in today's video earlier on and it seems like the SEC just gave Binance the opportunity to just uh, pay them off. So according to the SEC, which is the US government, Binance committed a crime, right? Money laundering or whatever it was. And in order to, for them to drop it, Binance had to pay money to the SEC, which is the government. So if I'm getting this straight, if I'm, if I'm, I don't know if I'm an idiot, maybe, of course, let me know in the comment section if I'm an idiot, but let me get this straight. So according to the government, I'm not saying there was, but according to the government, crime happened. And in order to get out of said crime, someone can just pay a fine or a penalty, which is, is, is bribery? If I, if I go to the US and I commit a crime, right, and then the police come after me and they're like, hey, you committed a crime. And then I go, hey, maybe I did, but here's some money. Is that, is that, is that the same thing that's going on here, but on a much larger scale? And do people still argue over like government and believing that anything that we do makes any difference to the people who have money? Like, oh my God, it's all wild. It's all wild. And I just don't understand how this is just cool. Anyway, CZ will remain majority owner of Binance. Binance will pay a fine totaling $4.3 billion. So these aren't laughable amounts of money. This is huge money, world moving money. And he is admitting wrongdoing. Wrongdoing meaning he's admitting to it, but it's fine because he just admits to it and then pays a fee. What? <laughs> Am I insane? What is going on? I'm fine with... Uh, Binance surviving. As you know, I expect a black swan event to be hitting this market, but this is just absolutely nonsense. We got Bitcoin dominance moving up today. As you know, this is not good for our altcoins. Solana today sits at 55 US dollars, right? USDT, 55.35. We got rejected sharply at our resistance and we are heading down. What I would like to see is for us to bounce off at least $48, if not $52. That would be absolutely great. If we take a closer look at Bitcoin, we can see 37,400. It was actually showing weakness. And as this news has just broken, it's actually going up. So why would the news of them paying a fine and uh, all of that being the way that the law system works be good for the market? Well, it means that Binance will probably survive. Binance is one of the black swan events that is floating around the ether that could crash everything that people are scared of. So if they actually get away with it, then maybe that's one of the black swans we can tick off and not be worried about. There's other things. But this is probably a good thing for the market. Now, I don't know if Binance has done anything wrong. I got no idea. We can't see behind the veil. But it just the overarching idea of this just makes no sense to me. I just don't get it. I personally use Binance. I actually trust them with some of my money. I'm using them. But it just doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't sit right with me that people have access to this, but we don't. What's going on? The greed and fear index is still in greed, 71 guys. So long-term investing, I wouldn't say it's a great idea to be dollar cost averaging into like Bitcoin now. Maybe it's still a good time to be accumulating, but according to this, it's not the best time, all right? If you've been following my channel, you know full well I was saying that I was buying loads down here when everyone was screaming about it. Now the market's up and everyone's asking, is it time to be buying Bitcoin, Solana, Ethereum, uh, AVAX, Injective, Casper, whatever it is, yeah, sure. Maybe you can start a position in it, dollar cost average into it. For example, Casper. I see a lot of stuff about Casper. Where have we, we must have it somewhere. Let's just get up coin market cap. Sorry, I didn't really prepare for this video. I just saw this news and I thought, started scratching my head and I was like, well, I better make a video because this is absolutely wild. But Casper, everyone's asking, hey, Connor, is it time to buy Casper? Should I be buying Casper? Look, the best time to buy Casper was back when I bought it in this portfolio. I mean, not the best time. I didn't catch it. That's, that's a bit of a ridiculous statement. Not the best time, but let's see, wait. YouTube DCA. Can I just, can you just stop being horrible? All right, look, portfolios, YouTube DCA, $6,700, $3,500 in profit because Cass is up 700%. 
I was buying Casper when people were already talking about it, right? I had no idea what was going to happen. Now, if you want to buy something like Casper, this is just the example. Casper is the example, right? If you have a thousand dollars that you want to put into the cryptocurrency market and you don't know whether Casper is going to slow down or not, you can put a hundred dollars in today. You can wait a week. You can put another hundred dollars in. You can wait a week. You can put another hundred dollars in. You can wait a week, so on and so forth. That way, if the price goes down, exciting times, you get more for your hundred dollars. If the price goes up, sad times, you didn't get as much as you could have, but it's the safest option. Safest in quotes, because it might literally crash tomorrow to zero. Who knows? But that $1,000 should be something that you're completely okay with losing. But we've seen here, every single coin that we've been dollar cost averaging in this portfolio since, when did we start? Since May has gone up. It's absolutely incredible. This is the power of dollar cost averaging. I literally created this portfolio to prove that dollar cost averaging is a great way of investing. And I've been proven right so far, right? Clearly. I had no idea this was going to happen. So is it time to be buying crypto? Sure thing. Buy some, but be smart about it. And what I'm saying isn't financial advice, just the way I personally do it. If you guys want to trade, of course, you can do so over on BitGet. I personally long-term invest, short-term invest, and short-term trade. We got $30,000 worth of USDT as a deposit bonus if you use BitGet. I've been using BitGet to trade. We got Solana in profit. We got Bitcoin in profit. And we got DOT not in profit because you can't win every bet. And I want to be completely upfront and transparent with you. You've been doing very, very well on the channel, but there is still a possibility that you lose money. All right, guys, with that said, let me know what you think about this news down there in the comment section. Do you think this is good or bad for the market? Are you as confused with me, as me that this is like fine? Like what? It's fine, right? This is just, it's just normal. It's just normal. This is what, this is how it's normal. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. It is late. This is the latest I've made a video in a while. It is 9.30 where I am. With that said, I will see you in the next video.